Hello and welcome back to the channel. I've been doing DoorDash for a few years now and although I am no expert, I feel like I have figured out a few strategies to make the most amount of money and I think these are going to be really beneficial going into the new year. I definitely think that by using these strategies and other strategies, you can definitely maximize your earnings and make a lot more than maybe you think. Without further ado, let's get into these strategies. I do want to be clear that all of these strategies are going to be different for everyone. They're going to apply differently to every area, but these are just what I have experienced and what I have found that works for me and may help you as well. Now, overall, I have noticed a trend in 2023, and I think this is going to continue into 2024, where not as many people are using the DoorDash app. And not only that, but a lot of people are tipping less, and a lot of that is due to a lot of people's financial struggles. But because of that, there are definitely times that you should work and shouldn't work, or times that you might feel that work better for you than others. Currently, I have found that working the breakfast hours just don't really do anything. A lot of the orders are small, small pay, small orders, so people don't typically tip as much. And some of these breakfast places can have a really long wait. And unless you're doing earn by time, then you're not getting paid for that extra wait time. Also, less people have extra money and so breakfast is one of those meals that a lot of people may skip on or they may just not order out and they may eat at home things like that now continuing with the trend of the economy and people's financial struggles this next strategy also just applies to in general i always try to pick up from restaurants as opposed to fast food restaurants typically with fast food restaurants there can be longer wait times sometimes they get the food wrong which could affect your ratings and overall the cost is just less so people typically tip less if you pick up at other restaurants where the person's total might be higher or you know they're eating a really high quality meal they may feel inclined to tip more now obviously this is going to be a cherry picking method which gets into my next strategy some people feel that cherry picking is not worth it some people feel that it is worth it where i am in my area it is not worth it for me to get my acceptance rate up to 70 percent and become top dasher i have done it and it's just not worth it for me and for many people out there cherry picking is a really good strategy if you don't know what it is it is is basically where you sit there and you decline every order that you just don't want you only take the orders that you really want that you feel are worth it because not only are you putting miles on your car but you're taking up your own time and so it's important to get paid for those things how you want to be paid every area is different but on average i don't accept anything that is less than two to three dollars a month also it is just not worth it to accept orders that are two three four dollars it is just not worth it that can't even buy you a gallon of gas and so cherry picking is definitely a good strategy to do my next strategy is going to be working based off of what your surroundings are now what i mean is that if you are in a college town or you're near a college town definitely try to work that area late at night because that is when college people are up and they want to order food during lunch you probably want to work near more businesses because people are ordering lunch there might be catering orders and so on now not every area is going to have this ability because some areas don't have colleges some people don't really have you know businesses and it's mostly just houses but if you do have those things it is best to utilize those and figure out what times those people are ordering and try to stay near them as well now the next strategy is if you want to use earn by time also when accepting orders you want to be cautious of the wait times i am noticing that a lot of places are understaffed and so the wait times are typically longer than they used to be and i think that's probably going to continue to be a trend when you are cherry picking try to be cautious of how long the wait time might be for this order if you're not doing earn by time it might not be worth it the other strategy that i have is that during rush hours do not take orders that are going way out of the zone because if you take one order at the beginning of the dinner rush and it takes you 45 minutes to complete that order that's 45 minutes that you could have done one or two more orders if you stayed nearby all the restaurants i think personally that at least in my area and my experience people aren't really ordering outside of typical meal time so they're typically ordering some lunch and mostly dinner so you don't want to waste your time during those dinner rush hours or lunch rush hours driving as opposed to accepting a bunch of orders over and over and also you don't want to be putting a ton of miles on your car so accepting an order that's you know going 10 15 miles just probably really isn't worth it the other strategy that i want to talk about is going on the schedule i think a lot of people forget that scheduling yourself is an option and although yes for some people this might just be a part-time thing i think that there are a ton of dashers out there and with more dashers being hired but less people ordering i think it does kind of create some difficulty around getting on or there being enough orders sometimes and to combat that you can definitely put yourself on the schedule if you know what times you want to work schedule yourself six days in advance this way here you know that you can get on and you can accept orders during those lunch or dinner rush hours.
followers. Another strategy, and this one is talked about a lot, but multi-app. As long as you're doing it correctly, as long as you're strategizing the orders that you're taking, you should be able to multi-app as long as, you know, the deliveries aren't going to completely different places. It does require a cherry picking method to begin with because you won't really be able to, unless you get lucky, most orders probably aren't going to just be sent to you from Uber or Grubhub and then DoorDash at the same time going to the same place. It does happen, but to do an entire shift like that or to strategize all of your work hours like that would probably be a little hard. So cherry picking while multi-apping is definitely a strategy on a strategy. But multi-apping can definitely be a great way to earn extra money, especially thing, especially using Uber, Grubhub, any other platform that you wanna use. And staying in areas with a lot of restaurants will definitely increase your chances of getting multiple orders on multiple platforms. Another strategy is because DoorDash recently has changed their requirements to now you have to have a 90% completion rate to stay active on the platform. I don't recommend taking orders that you may likely have to drop. If there's a restaurant that is constantly giving the wrong dasher the food and they refuse to make it, or the wait time is just way too unbearable, it might just not be worth the risk. So overall, just strategically choosing your orders is a strategy in itself. But overall, every area is going to be different. You will have to test out and figure out what restaurants have the most orders, what time there's a lot of orders, maybe even what areas you typically see a tip increase or just higher tips overall. But if I think of any more strategies, I will definitely leave them in the description or the comments down below. There are definitely strategies strategies to working DoorDash and I think if you know the right strategies and you use them correctly I think you can definitely increase your earnings and make a lot more money. Also even though DoorDash itself has remained pretty much the same the concept is the same you pick up and you deliver the food there's definitely some sort of algorithm and strategies that you can implement and those strategies are always changing based on the customers but that's going to be it for this video like i said i'll leave them in the comments or in the description if i think of any more strategies to help you guys out but i hope these were helpful and i hope you guys earn more money i'll see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>